Hello, my little darklings. Welcome again to my channel, Offbeat Vegan Beauty and Life. Today, I'm going to be trying out the Morphe um, Eyelid Primer in Translucent and the e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. I got these at Ulta. This retails for $10 and the eyeliner is six. I went for the 21 Days of Beauty trying to get the Tardis Double Take Eyeliner. $12, but they were sold out, so I got the Elf for only 6 and I think it would be comparable, and I got the Morphe Eyelid Primer because the Urban Decay Primer Potion is a little bit too over my budget, $24, and this is only 10 so I'm super excited to try these out. I'm going to be creating a look with the eyeliner, and I'm going to be adding some liquid lip to my eye too. Kat Von D doing a split black one side and red, black one side and red on one side. And I'm gonna be trying everything out here. So let's start off with the eyelid primer. And I already have my foundation on and my concealer, my primer also first. So I got my little sponge here, the little baby one from Jeffree Star Morphe collab. So let's try this out. I rarely use these little baby sponges, like sometimes, like for my eyes or like around the top or like my under eye or around my nose. But I feel like this bigger sponge works better. Like you can't really get a hold of it, and these are a little bit firmer too. Um, yeah, see, it doesn't really blend that well. Like, I just want to get in with my finger or, like, a bigger sponge. So, I'm going to go in with my finger here. I already got my contacts in because I make a big mess if I try to put them on after, like, contact solution everywhere. It's best just to put them in before. Before I do my makeup. Okay, let's try it a little bit more here. It's pretty good. It feels like the Urban Decay one, and it feels like it's covering. It's a little bit tacky, like a primer should be. And it's kind of patching up here. Like, kind of made a bald spot here. <laughs> <clears throat> I already have foundation on my eye and yeah it's kind of it's not very even it's just kind of wiping up here <laughs> so I'm going to put some more on I think it's best like if you blot it on Yeah, it's just lifting up. I don't know if I like it. It's just lifting up my foundation here. Uh, it's not really doing anything. Uh, this is a bust here. Uh, it's just lifting everything up. It doesn't want to like stick down. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm applying it just like I apply the Urban Decay and it doesn't want to blend or anything here. It's just like lifting up my foundation. I don't know if they're like not compatible or what. I'm going to wipe it off and try one more time and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to try again with my larger sponge, a real technique so I usually use. It tends to be easier for me to apply um primer or concealer or anything so maybe this will help that's a little better yeah it's really patchy <laughs> i don't like it it's kind of blending a little bit but it's not really 
doesn't really want to set. I guess it's a little bit better with the larger sponge here. Yeah, I think I got it even, but it was a struggle here. See, it's still a little bit patchy. Yeah, there's a little bald spot there. It doesn't apply very evenly. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try the other eye. Yeah, it is not applying evenly at all. It's just patching up and building up on my eye. I don't, would not recommend this. This is just a big struggle, a big headache. Uh, I'm just going to try to blend this all with a tissue and salvage it and put my powder on. Like, this is a no-go for me. I'm going to put my powder, my highlighter, contour and blush on and I'll come back with trying out the eyeliner and doing my whole eye look and my whole makeup look here. <laughs> okay, a little update here before I do the rest of my face, the highlighter, contour, and blush. I was man I managed to put it, pack it down with the damp Real Techniques sponge. It's acceptable, but it was a real struggle to get the eyelid primer on. Like, I would not recommend using the little tiny sponge. It's, like, too dense, and, like, these are a lot softer and kind of blend it more, and it's best to, like, tack it on, but I do not like this. I think maybe it might be better just to use a concealer on your eyelids. So I'm going to go back and do my base now, so... It's acceptable, but it was a real struggle. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm back. I got my highlighter on. I used Nefri. I got my contour on. I used Onyx Ice and Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette over it. And the Chocolate Soleil Palette. Soleil. Little disc too. And another naked Urban Decay Illuminated Lid. I kind of do a combination because I'm trying to use them all up. And I used Patrick Star Blush. Trying to use that one up too. So ready to put some eyeliner on. I have like a little look in mind because I'm going out tonight. And kind of match with my contacts and my outfit here. So let's get into it. The e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. I'm going to be using a, doing a look inspired by one of Kat Von D's looks. I will insert an image right here. <laughs> so it's basically one side black and one side red. I like doing a split look, like kind of, so I'm a Gemini. I like to do split because of my two personalities or whatever. It's applying pretty good. Doing a straight line here. Can you see? Kind of use the wide end because I'm going to be using, making a wide, big black eyeliner thing. Using a big black eye, filling my whole lid in here with the eyeliner. I've been kind of out of it the past two days. My asthma has been bad. It's been very hot here and the bad air quality. I have been really struggling, like the whole breathing and I'm just trying to breathe here and been taking medicine and just it's a little bit better today. Like yesterday was really bad. And the day before. Wednesday I had a good day. It's going on pretty well here. And it's drying pretty matte. You can see that. I know this is not what it's intended for, just a line on the eye, but this is the look I'm going for tonight. I'm also gonna be drawing like lines and designs on my face. We'll see how it goes with that. I'm going to draw a ruin on my forehead, and I like to do this look sometimes. The 
so I hope everyone had a good week and is having a good weekend. And Friday the 13th is coming and I got a concert I'm going to next weekend. I'm really excited about that and excited to go out tonight. I took a break last night because of my asthma and it's better if I just go out once a week. Once in the weekend. <laughs> It sucks having asthma. <laughs> I hope it starts to cool down here and the air quality gets better and they put the fire out in the Amazon rainforest and it's just a big mess across the world and in Africa too. And I don't know. I hope things get better. It feels like things are getting worse. <laughs> It's hard to draw a straight line on the eyelid here. You can kind of see like in the corner and the, in the hollow of my eye. I'm trying to make a straight line here is very difficult. This one kind of drags across the eye. I don't like it. It doesn't glide on very smoothly. It's kind of dries down the mat rather quickly. And okay, I got a straight line here. Pretty good. I may have to clean this up with a Q-tip. <laughs> I'm not so impressed with this one. I like the tart one and there's another eyeliner that I use. I will link it to in my info. So everybody give me a little like, show some love, subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications please, it mean a lot to me. So I think we're good here. I might clean it up off camera or fix it with a Q-tip. Go to the bottom. Do a thinner line on the bottom here. The way I normally do it. I don't like this. this is really dragging across my skin. It's like tugging. It's not a good feeling here. I don't think I'm gonna recommend these. I, I would splurge like a little bit more and get a better quality. I like the Kat Von D eyeliner too. That's a good one. Okay, we're gonna call it good. <laughs> Let's go on to the other eye. I'm gonna be using Kat Von D lipstick in the shade Santa. Wow, it's really small and I can't read it with my contacts. Santa something, I cannot read that. I will link it below. <laughs> It is very hard to read with my contacts. I put my glasses on to dry <laughs> with these. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the Morphe M250-0 brush with this. It's a pretty precise point here. And I'm going to try the other ones too. This might be a bit wide. The Jeffree Star JS14 eyeliner brush and this angle one from Japonesque. I don't know. I think I'm going to start off with the small one and I'm going to work and try these two. Those might be a bit big. So put a little bit on here and let's go to town. These are eye safe. Like I put lipsticks on my eyes. I haven't had any problems. Let's just make the line here with the precise one. We could go back in and fill in with the larger brushes. It's 
So I'm gonna put the bottom part on here and try to keep my eyes closed on top, like keep them half closed here so it doesn't smudge the top. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and let it dry down and I will be right back to put some more lines on my face. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm going to be starting to put the lines on my face. I'm going to start with a rune on my forehead. I'm going to use the rune awareness, that one like was, I was drawn to. And I'm going to fix this up later. It's kind of smudgy, but it's not that bad. <laughs> so if you're doing one that's like one-sided, you always want to do it in reverse, like maybe flip it around, like reflection. But this one is like symmetrical so we don't have to worry about that <laughs> okay it's better to find the center point here there so so like right, right where our eye starts and try to make them even That looks even to me. This one is pretty easy to draw. <laughs> I drew one before and some silly person was saying, asking me, is that a Bluetooth symbol on your forehead? And I'm like, no, it's the rune for love, idiot. <laughs> oh my God. People can be like really ignorant. Why would I put a Bluetooth symbol on my forehead? Like, generation definitely a generation gap there okay this one is really dragging still I don't like this thing it's making a clean line though but it's hard to draw a line it's like faded and it doesn't drawing like a straight one, it's like patchy, like thicker in some parts and thinner in other parts. I am not impressed with these two products so far. Okay, there it is. It's a little bit off, but it is what it is. <laughs> So I'm going to just finish the black lines first and then I'll do the red ones. So I'm going to do the black over here, opposite. I'm going to do like this little curve thing and then have a red one and then a black one here. Uh, it's not that bad, like drawing. Like, got it in one pass here, pretty much. Okay, it's all right. So I'm going to draw some dots on my nose and my chin here. So let's see how it does like drawing a circle. See what it's doing? It's not as not 
I don't even know how to say. It's just, it misses, like it's, uh, it drags and then it skips the um, spot and then you have to go over it, like it's not even at all. is a real struggle like it will make a mark in one spot and like not in another so okay we're gonna have to clean this up a bit This is a real struggle. I do not like this pen. Leave a space for a red one and put another one here. See, it doesn't make a straight line. It just draws and then it, and then it fades out and doesn't do it. There's a lot of work that's going to have to clean up off camera here. Like, it is really difficult to do it, like, with this mirror here and the camera. And... This is not working very well at all. I'm trying to make a circle here. This pen is just like it's dried up or something and doesn't want to make a a line or anything. Like, I'm gonna try wiping it off with a tissue or something. Maybe it's catching on my foundation. Okay, let's try it again. See how it goes on the tissue? Hmm. It's not bad there. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe it just doesn't want to draw over my foundation here. It's just lifting up my foundation. Yeah, it's not really working. Okay, I got that spot covered, kind of. Okay, I got that spot covered a little bit. <laughs> Okay, let's make two more here. I would do two, one red and one black and one red, so. Okay. It's not bad. Okay, let's try the red now. <laughs> it doesn't even close. It like spring up. How does it close now? You have to screw it. Okay, snap. It's really difficult to close. Okay. I'm going to put some red here and some here and also put a black line there. Okay, let's start off with a red little curve here. It's pretty good. I'm sweating. Maybe one more. OK, 
Okay, that's good there. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. <laughs> So it's very tedious. You have to put it, the little doe foot in and get a bit off of here and put on the brush. Okay. It's a little bit off, but we're doing our best here. It's very hard to get this angle. And okay, let's make a little line here about the same. Okay, now let's put a black line in the middle there. I'm definitely gonna be cleaning this up. I'll show you the final look. And Okay, now we're gonna add the dots and we'll be done. So my outfit's gonna match, be red and black. This is going a lot easier than drawing the black circle on. Yeah, that was a lot easier. Okay, just two more dots. We clean up, we get ready, get dressed, and I'm excited. This is really challenging, but we're getting through it. <laughs> Okay, there, I'm gonna fix it up here and we will, I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I cleaned it up, did the best I could. I'm not overall happy with it, but it's decent. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. I'm gonna put my eyebrows, um, draw them my eyebrows on, my mascara, set my face, put my outfit and jewelry on, and I will be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back with the final look. I got my nose ring, all my jewelry on, my outfit you can see. Opening the back here, there's my skirt. Got my fangs in from Mia Black. I will link everything down below. And here's my boots. It's easier if I just hold them up and like try to stick my leg up here and need to put that one in <laughs> so you know my boots and my outfit so my final thoughts i do not like the eyelid primer from morphe it was patchy it was hard to put on i would just use my concealer and the eyeliner too i would not recommend it was um skipping it like dark in some pot spots and faded in some others and would not make a straight consistent line and it tugged at my skin too and dried down really fast it was very unpleasant i will link some eyeliners that i like down below like the kat von d one and the tarte one so i hope you had fun in, fun getting ready with me i know it was kind of a disappointment that they weren't a better outcome with those two products but the final result is pretty decent i'm not too unhappy with it it's kind of meh i would like to have perfected it better like maybe smaller dots and like more clean straight lines but it's it's decent <laughs> did my best it was a struggle i needed patience just to get this kind of look together it takes like a lot of patience and dedication and I will see you on the next one. 
in my next video please like and subscribe and get all the notifications comment any uh, video suggestions and i hope you have an amazing weekend and bye i will see you on the next one love you little darklings Mwah. bye bye <laughs>